Thinking aloud. Conversations on the leading edge of knowledge and discovery with psychologist Jeffrey Mishlove. Well, you had the experience of what we would call channeling, channeling a book that was transmitted to you, a book of philosophy that came from some sort of a higher source identifying itself as Lao Tzu, the Chinese philosopher. Yes. Uh, in 1990, mm -hmm. the British economy suffered a huge uh, collapse. It was at the end of Thatcherism. There was a huge rise in material um, confidence and, and finances during the Thatcher years. 1990, it just suddenly collapsed. Mm. And I was working in the Sudan at the time. I had been conditioned by United Nations and Save the Children. This was the peak of my career as a transport consultant. And when I came back to UK, I came back to a business that didn't exist anymore. Mm. <laughs> so, so I was asking fundamental questions. How does this happen? You know, what have I done that was so wrong? I, and, and I needed answers to these fundamental mm -hmm. questions. And then I began to write, uh, and as I was writing each chapter, I'd write it and then I'd read it. And I think, where's this coming from? This is really, really interesting. Mm -hmm. And in order to help me um, take a new direction in life, I decided that I was going to get educated and go to university. Mm -hmm. Uh, I needed to understand how um, the mind worked, so I took a course in, in studied hypnosis. And it was when I was working with a young man who'd come to me uh, for help with hypnotherapy. Um, at the same time that I had this compulsion to write, and I had no idea where these ideas were coming from. Mm -hmm. They just emerged. Mm -hmm. But one day, this young man was sat in front of me, and we'd been doing some hypnotherapy. And he came out of a trance, and he said to me, he said, I just had a very, very strange experience. I felt that someone wanted to speak with you, but it wasn't me. <laughs> so <laughs> I said, this is interesting. Shall we find out what's going on here? So he willingly went back into trance, and I'm going to condense a long story into shorter version now, yes. but the upshot of it was that uh, a spirit possessed him, took possession of his body and his uh, ability to communicate. His vocal cords. His vocal cords, and his, his body came upright. He, he was still in trance, but the body came upright. Mm -hmm. The head came upright, and the eyes opened. And he looked at me, and I could see that it wasn't him. Mm. They say that the, the eyes are the windows to the soul. Mm -hmm. And this was the first time I'd actually witnessed the truth in that. He looked at me, and I could see it was not him. So I said, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, my name is Lao Tzu. And I had absolutely no idea who he was. I'd never heard the name before. I knew nothing about him. Of course, I did learn uh, who he was. Eventually, mm -hmm. after we'd had several conversations over many days, weeks, sometimes long into the night, mm -hmm. and this character who named himself Lao Tzu was giving me instruction. And, and now you, these conversations were with the student, with the stu under with hypnosis. Under hypnosis, mm -hmm. every time. And yeah. he, he'd become used to this. But I gather he indicated to you he was the same entity, spiritual entity, who had been uh, the source of the writing you were doing. Absolutely, because he knew what I was writing. How did he know what I was writing? Mm -hmm. If it hadn't been him that had inspired it in the first place. Yeah. 